and Rib. She's my sister. Candy Red's your sister? Yes. I need and Candy. Doesn't say that. <laughs> I know you must get so many emails asking for help. So I thought this might stand out. True. I really need your help with my friend, Danielle. She recently relocated from Buffalo to Atlanta for a fresh start, but there is a big part of her past she's not letting go. She has this guy, BJ, that she's been in contact with for six years, but they still haven't met face-to-face -face or video chatted. Danielle has made several visits to South Carolina to see him, and every time she gets there, he cancels and goes. I've done all I can do to encourage her to let BJ go, but she won't listen to me. My friend really needs your help she can move on from the situation. Sincerely, Dominique. Oh, text from 803 number. They said, I know yet? who Danielle is really talking to. Call me. Whoa. Who is that? I don't know. All right, I will call. Come on. Hi. Who is this? This is BJ? Yes. I got a call from my friend. Oshawan? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, saying that Catfish looking for you. He asked me, like, what's my number and all that? We searched the number and it came up as Bilal Gibbs. Yes, that's my name. But I got a family plan. I got my brother in front of my plan. So, wait, do you know who Danielle is? Yes, I know who Danielle is. I haven't talked to her in over two years. So, okay, so you think. There's a chance your brother might be talking to her now? I know. Oh, you, you know? Yeah, he, he, he confessed to me. He's like, he been talking oh, to her. Oh, boy. He's like, two years. Yeah. Oh, Crazy, right? yeah. Wait, so you were talking to her for for a long time? Yeah, we were talking for a while. It was released, but we just off. So these last five, two years, I ain't been talking to her. So you weren't talking to her after she got shot? She got shot. So, oh, so you don't even know about all that? No. Okay, so how did your brother get her number? Right. Because it was my brother. So we have access to like social media and all that. Uh, so okay. I, that's why he told me, he said, he said, bro, man, I was going to your phone. When you told me about her, like she was a good girl, and then he started talking to her, he confessed on all that, what they had going on. So were you not pissed off with him that he was basically yes. talking to your girl? And that's why I'm calling him because I had to clear my name, like he been posing as me. Wow, how old is he? He's four years older than me. So he's in like his 30s. Are you both in South Carolina? Yes. And do you know how he feels about Danielle? I don't know. After he told me, like, I don't really know what it is. When he got his own family, he got kids, and all that. Wow. But you're not. No, I'm not married. Are you still interested in Danielle? I ain't been talking to her. It hasn't been me. Right. Is it cool if we call you back if we need to ask you something? I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Be honest with you. Okay, so the number Danielle has is your brother's number. Yes. And what's his name? Devin. Devin? Yes. All right, so I guess we'll just have to talk to him now. We appreciate you calling. All right, thanks, BJ. Thanks. Oh, man. That's so up. That explains everything, because the real BJ's not going to meet up with her when she's in right. South Carolina. And he can't, not only because he'd have to explain that he's not his little brother, but he is married with kids. There's a black cat walking by. This is not a good situation right now. You can't make that up. That is scary. Is that Nico? This looks like they're stopping here. Is that them? I can't tell. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that, that is it. What's up, man? What's going on? Hi. Solo? Solo. Oh, okay. What's up? What's going on? EJ. Yeah. Right. So that's you. Cammy. Nice to meet you. So obviously, you know Danielle. Yeah. I thought when we spoke yesterday, you mentioned you were going to maybe come with yeah, I can't. Devin. Yeah, you wouldn't even come. So he decided not to come. 
Right. Okay. Well, we're we're all here. We're very eager to find out what's been going on here and kind of. Yeah, like last three two years, it hasn't been me. I tell my brother everything. So he went through my social media and all that, and like he started talking to him. So I wanted to just clear it up. You know. Oh. I'm just curious. Like, do you log into his Instagram? No, it's like my phone is already on. Like my. It's already logged in, so he on my phone or something like that. Okay. And like he'll go through it, he'll go through his, like that. Like I didn't, I wouldn't question him. So why is your brother not stepping up to the plate and saying that it was him because this whole like, time? Yeah, I don't know. Like when I when I was talking, when I talked to him, he wasn't up front. Like he wanted to say, bro, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know. Yeah, I did it, but I don't want to go out there. I got a whole family and all that. But did he think about that when he was talking to her for the past two and a half years? I don't know, because I, I just found out like, last week. But people are going to find out about this either way, right? right? And he's going to be in trouble anyway. Yeah. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. This isn't true. Like, this is who I've been talking to. Like, you sound like yourself. We sound alike. I don't, I don't, I don't believe you. If that's the case, call him and, and show. He won't answer. He don't want, like, I try to get him to come here and I'll clear my name, you know? So, he, he wouldn't do it. I'm like, damn, bro, come on, man, clear my name, bro. What you got going on? Right. So, I don't care how you feel. He might see it, they might see it. I mean, I'm gonna clear my name. I don't wanna do this anymore. You understand the situation is strange. Right. Don't you think it's kind of up that your brother would see that you had a relationship with a girl and that he would then go behind your back and sneak and get her to start messaging him? Very malicious, yes. That just feels weird to me. Like, why? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't believe this. I don't believe it. Now I don't want to talk to him no more. If he going to sit there and lie dead in my face, something else is going on. And I don't have to put up with it. I don't have to put up with this. That's, that's what I don't have to do. That's so you what think I, it was him the whole time? I think it was him the whole time. I know you haven't had any interaction with uh, her. No, first time, yeah. In a while, right, in a few years. But like, yeah. do you still feel like any kind of close, like friendship with her? Do you feel yeah. like a connection to her? Yeah, I mean, I feel that connection. I, and I came here to clear things up. You were right to say, if you have a brother, then call him. He might not answer our phone calls. But why would he not answer, answer his brother phone, phone calls? If he not gonna call his brother, I don't, want, I don't wanna say nothing to him. Let's get him to call him. That's the least he can do. You never lied. Right. About anything, right? You were friends with her from Instagram and then you stopped talking and then that was it for you. There's something else. What do you mean? I don't have to put up with this It does not make sense. What's this something else? Something is not right. Why don't you just tell us what's going on? Um, basically, yesterday. So I kind of like, I kind of panicked, you feel me? I panicked. So I had to make that up on my brother. Give me leeway. Give right. me leeway to take the pressure off me, you know what I'm saying? Wow. This is now a whole new story. Yeah. So not what you just said. To be clear, the only person Danielle has been talking to the whole time has been you. Yes. OK. Do you have a brother? I have a brother, yeah. But he has nothing to do with this. Nah, I don't got nothing to do with it. And he's married. Yeah, that's true. With kids. Right. And you threw him under the bus. Why would you even play like that? I panicked. And I didn't want to have a conversation. So the real reason that you encouraged her to come to South Carolina and then decided not to meet her was just because, what, you were nervous? I wanted you to come, but I never was going to go through with it. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't in the place for you to come. Why? Because, like, she, like, extravagant things. And I was already telling her I was extravagant, you feel me? I felt like I needed to say that to keep her around. I didn't have those things to show, you know what I'm saying? So that's a big lie. I got security bin, that's mine. But the laundromat thing, I said that to keep her around. Wait, wait, wait. What made you think that that would be something that would have been a big deal? Danielle, were you particularly interested in his money or something? No. I feel like if I lied, I said I had those things that she would 
He's still fond of me. Felt bad that I ghosted him. But not bad enough to show up. Couldn't you at least sent a text that said, oh, I just got called on a job. Like, just get, just to let her know. So she doesn't fly all the way down there. Like, you didn't realize that you didn't have it together before I came down here? It's not that like I have it together, you know what I'm saying? Just like average joke, you feel me? I'm upcoming, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like I have it together. It's that everything I told you, that wasn't it. And once you see that, that's what you weren't, you'd be turned off, you know what I'm saying? I don't understand why you lied. You didn't even have to make it seem like it was something else. I feel like I did. I just really want to lay it all out there. What's true and what things ha aren't true that she doesn't know are, are lies. Can you kind of just clear the air a little Everything bit Everything is a lie. You're a liar. Everything is not a lie. Me living in a scrapping lifestyle, traveling all that, that's a lie. Everything else, how I feel, that's not a lie. I said things to keep you around. Bro, I don't even have all the things that you're trying to tell me that you have. Were you just waiting for the right opportunity until the business grew and you had all these things? Yeah. I didn't want to meet like this. Why not FaceTime? Yeah, why couldn't we FaceTime? Because I feel like she's going to see my lifestyle. Yeah, but you could have just been at Burger King right. having lunch. It was sometimes, like I said, I'm out of town. When I'm really not in town, she tried to FaceTime me. And I, I wouldn't do it. Here's the up thing. Like, the truth isn't even that bad. Right. Like, the fact that you embellished your lifestyle a little bit pretty insignificant in the big picture of things. What's really up is that you wasted her emotional time and energy. I don't know, but I'm but, here to come clear. I'm here to, to let you know that I'm coming clean, you know what I'm saying? I want to go forward. Go <laughs> forward how? I want to hopefully keep our relationship. You want me to go ahead and let go of everything? I don't know what you told me is true. That's, that was the biggest lie. Everything else told you the truth. I ain't no kids. I mean, I'm single. I'm a bachelor. That's the truth. It didn't have to be like this. You could have told me eventually. You could have even phased it out. Like, I'm telling you now. Thank you. Do you love her? I got love for her. I, I want to did what I did. Like, looking out, being there when she got shot. That's love. Hey, me. This is Adonis. Adonis. I wanted to reach out to you on behalf of my brother, Dejan. I feel like I'm stable. Why I'm always stable? He's been talking for like a couple of years with this girl named Kishay. He swears she, he's in love with her. See, there's no one like you. It's not an obsession. I just need to find you. Cause she doesn't show her face on video. This could be my sunshine even when it's gray. Whenever he tries to go on a date or try to reach out, probably go see a movie or so, she always sends love to her. I feel like she's a catfish, but she doesn't want to see it. I just don't want to see her. Can you hear me out? Sydney? Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Sydney, oh. right? Uh, yes, Sydney, yes. Okay, and this is Cammie. Hi, Cammie. Hi, nice to meet you. This is the John. Hi. I don't know if you had asked about who we're yeah, I want dealing to know with what's here. going on. Well, we want to know we, the same thing. <laughs> we were hoping you might have something to tell us. And when I asked you if you knew someone named Cachet, you said yes. I know Cachet. Are you Cachet? I'm not Cachet. But I do know who Cachet is. And so who is that? Who's Cachet? Cachet is my cousin. Cachet. But what's her real name? Okay, I'm not gonna. You oh, okay, guys, whatever. You know, I'm we'll not gonna tell you guys stuff about her. You know, I well, don't what, feel comfortable. What, what can you tell us? Okay, well, she does this a lot. Talks to guys on the internet as oh. yeah. someone else. It's her kind of her thing. I've told her multiple times, like, you need to stop doing this. Like, you know, people get hurt, their feelings get hurt. It's not healthy, it's not good. I'm so sorry that th that's been happening to you. Sorry about that. I'm really young. Is there anything else that we should know, or? I told you all that I can tell you. Okay. Yeah. All right, so then should we, let's call her. Want to get in the car and call her? Yeah. All right, well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. And, uh, I'm so sorry. Nice to meet you. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Okay, see ya. See you.
to meet you. Do you want to come down and say hello? So you're Kasha. That's that's crazy. Thank you for agreeing to meet us. Just to be very clear, you've been talking to Dejan. Yeah. What's your name? My real name is Jave. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Sydney, who we met yesterday, is that your cousin? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you all right? Yes, I'm okay. It's overwhelming. Yeah. 21 months down the drain, I didn't know who you were. Got a whole bunch of questions. Can we just get your stats? Are you 30? <laughs> yeah, I'm 30. And do you have a son? No. Do, do you have any kid, uh, children? No. OK. Wow. Have you ever ran into Dejan before? Because you guys live really close to each other. What happened? Why did you mess with me? I mean, for one one time, just 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 be real. I didn't even like this is not intentional. Like it just happened, I guess. In the beginning it was a game. I was fishing one day on POF and some type of way, he just got hooked. Mm. It wasn't necessarily you I was fishing for. It just happened. And like over the little years, you know, we just grown to be close, I guess, you know? You had me believing in a, uh, uh, in a whole nother woman. No, I had you looking at a whole nother woman. But the, the woman that you talk to every day is me. Why use somebody else's photos? Like, you're an attractive woman, you have beautiful eyes. Why not use pictures of yourself? When you're behind that person, you can do and you can be and you can create the image that you want to portray to somebody else. And I don't know how people are going to respond to me because I already know how I've been tormented in my past. You know what I'm saying? I know how I've been judged. Cache probably might be a little bit better than my real person. When did you first start making a fake profile? I've been fishing since before catfish was really catfish. Like the chat lines, the phone chat lines and stuff like that. It was like an outlet. How many profiles have you had? Ain't no telling. I was so caught up in cache that, like, a couple months ago, went and purchased a engagement ring. I was that serious. Because you guys talked about starting a life together. Yeah. Forked over a lot of money for that damn ring, thinking that I found my one. We got an email from the casting department, which is a little unusual. Hey guys, we forwarded you an email from an anonymous source. This isn't the way things normally come to us, but it seems like an interesting case. An anonymous person wrote in. Anonymous whistleblower. Well, here's the email. Dear Neve. And Laura. And Laura. I can't tell you who I am, but I'm gonna ask for your help. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place, and the only way out was to send you this email. Okay. Okay. I'm writing to tell you about this guy I know named Derek. Derek was born and raised in the Vancouver, Washington area, and is nice to pretty much everyone. That's usually something I like about it, but right now, it's a problem. Derek recently got out of a long-term, serious relationship. He was pretty torn up about it. Five months ago, his friends took him out to cheer him up. That night, he ended up chatting with a girl named Annabelle on Snapchat. He went from heartbroken to head over heels in a matter of days and hasn't looked back since. I like that a lot. Heartbroken to head over heels. That is good. 
Derek won't stop talking about this girl. But she's refusing to meet him, even though she lives nearby. He says they've got a strong connection, but I think he's ignoring a lot of issues because his heart is broken and she's hot. If you guys don't help him, I think he's gonna fall in love with Annabelle and waste months or years of his time building a relationship with someone who I think doesn't even exist. Derek has no idea I'm doing this, but if you can please hit him up, I think he will listen to you. Where's his number? That's definitely my buddy, Jeremy. That's Becca's brother. What's up, Derek? What the f There's a lot of reasons and a lot of stuff I gotta tell you. What's your name? Sorry. My, my name's Jeremy. Jeremy. I'm, I'm one of Derek's really good friends. Okay, cool. I am trying to just fix all this. That's why I'm here, bro. I'm not here to hurt you in any way, bro. I'm here to, I'm just trying to help, dude. I care about dude, you, I'm dude. I'm shaking right now, bro. Like, I'm, just... I'm not Annabelle, okay? okay so I hope not. Okay. I'm not Annabelle. I'll just go get Annabelle. We'll just, I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. I talked to him all the time. Like he showed, I showed him everything about Annabelle, and like he just playing it off, and he's on. Oh my god, that better not be your sister, dude. Is that Becca? It definitely. Oh my god, that is Becca. Yeah, if this is one big joke, dude, I'm gonna f him for life. Oh this my is, god, dude. This is my sister, Becca. Right? Becca. Okay, okay hi. We we spoke on the phone, right? Yeah. Neve, and this is Laura. Hi. 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 Can yes. someone just explain what's going on? Yeah, please. So, I, I'm Annabelle. You're not Annabelle. I'm sorry. Yeah, everything I said was the truth. I just, everything you said, everything? Everything I said was the truth. I just was afraid to talk to you as me because you're like a brother to me. I've known you for so long. I don't even know what to say. We spoke to you yesterday, and you were very comfortable talking to us and denying to know anything, and you're a good cool. liar. You've lied to him, that, you've lied to us. That's why I can't us, believe none so... of those text messages that you sent to me. Did you send the email? No, I, I did write the anonymous email. You wrote in? I thought I, he wrote in this no, whole time. No, I, I was in the middle of it, listening to both sides, and I couldn't be just holding a secret anymore between my best friend and my sisters. Jeremy, how long did you know she'd been catfishing Derek? Probably like after like a month or two, I knew. How did you find out? I had a feeling just because she was always on her phone and then I was asking her who she's talking to and then one day I just kind of figured it out. I'm, I'm mind blown right now. So what is this Snapchat group? It's something that so my old roommate used to do that I helped like participate in. Jen? Yeah, that's like how Annabelle and him started talking. It's like, I can't really talk about the Snapchat thing. It's a private. Fine, but you were on that yeah, group? Yeah, on this private Snapchat. Does Jen know who Annabelle is? Like, she knows lots of girls, so I don't think she's her idea doesn't even process to like, do I know her? Oh, she's a part of my group. That's all Wait, that matters. Jen does not know that you're Annabelle. I don't think so. Okay. I feel so stupid right now. This is like my life, bro. We've all been like one big family since we met, like back in like high school days, you know? She's not trying to hurt you, dude, especially after all you've been through, you know? She yeah, just cares like, about you. I wouldn't be here right now if I didn't mean everything that I said. I, I loved talking to Annabelle, well, you. Like, you know, like you made me feel good, but like there could have been like a better shot, like if you really liked me instead of going through all this. Here's an email from Travis. How much time should I give her? Hey, Neve and Max, my name is Travis from Los Angeles. Wow. I'm 25 and it's time to start settling down. About two years ago, I was on this dating site and saw a profile for this really beautiful girl from Las Vegas named Candy Red. <laughs> I mean, come on. That Vegas. could just be her stage name. True. I sent her a message right away telling her I was looking for my queen. We started sending each other messages every day and then started texting. Well, you make me feel you got me I know it sounds cliche, but she really gets me. Well, you make me feel you got me I've opened up to her so much, I don't think anyone knows me as well as she does. I've been thinking about asking her to live with me in Los Angeles so I can take away some of her stress while she pursues her dreams. Why are they talking about living in Los Angeles? Why don't they just talk about like going yeah. on a great trip to the Hoover Dam? So it's not that far from Las Vegas, makes a great day trip. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> I want Candy to be by my side, but she won't meet or even video chat, which makes me think she's hiding something. I've tried being patient and doing this on her timeline, but I feel like we're not getting anywhere. 
hope to hear from you, Travis. Girl, you trust me, I'm me, I'm me, I'm you. Uh, so what's up? You, you called me, you told me you wanted to talk. We looked up Candy Red, and we found that the girl in her pictures is someone else. So we already know that. Right, right. Is there anything else you can tell us about uh... who this mystery girl is? Candy Red, she's my sister. Candy Red's your sister? Yes. Are you your sister? No. Are you just saying that she's your sister today, but tomorrow it'll be you? No. She your twin sister? No, no all twin right, sister. Right, enough on the sister questioning. Is her name Tiana? I don't know that name. Never heard of that name. Huh. Wow. Wait, oh, that, do you know that your sister's been talking to this guy? No. I you know, know she I know she profile. Like, she has been catfished with people for a very, very long time. And I'm getting tired of it. My family's getting tired of it. She told my grandma that she was going to stop. But now that this is coming out, I know, like, she's continually and continually to do this. Right. So I want her to quit. You want her to stop. For good. She talked about Travis. Who was that? Yeah, she hasn't talked about She Travis. don't ever talk about none of her catfishes. All right, so how do you think is the best way for us to meet up with your sister? I can text you and let you guys know. So are you going to reach out to her I'm gonna and reach tell out her, to her that we met? Counting on you. Okay. Thanks for coming forward. I'm sure that must have been tough for you. Don't let me down. Okay. That's Veronica. So that must be Candy. What the f is this? What is this? All right, all right, all right, all right. Drop the Please, calm down, please. You know why we're here. You know why you're here. Stop looking over there. Start looking over here. OK? What, what's your name? Candy. Candy. Is that your name? Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, Candy, I'm Max. Hi, Max. Hi. Do you know who this is? If I'm wrong, I'll apologize, but I, I think you've been talking to him for a few years and sending him pictures of a different girl, and telling him you live in Vegas and that you guys are gonna be together and then asking him for some money and he thought he was dating this girl and he wasn't, right? Yes. I'm sorry, okay? okay. I'm, 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 I, I... Look, this isn't about you, okay? We're here to help him. I think you owe Travis some answers. Why for two years, like, pretty much played me like this? I'm sorry, like, I'm, I honestly don't know what to say. Veronica, she's under the impression that you've been talking to other guys as a catfish for a while. Is that true? Yes. So you've been talking to multiple guys for the last five, six years as this candy red person, right? Yes. OK. You're not scamming lots of guys pretending to be this girl, are you? No. So is it true that you asked Travis for, for help paying bills? I did one time. OK. On paper, it looks like you might be asking other people for money, too. I haven't asked anyone else. I was kind of in a bind at the time. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe I said if I could borrow it, then I would pay him back. I mean, that's a lot to ask of someone that you've been lying to for a long time. Two years, you you build a relationship with me. I pour my emotions out to you. I let you know how I feel, what's going on with my family, and the fact that you build all this on bullshit. I put my life on pause for you. It's not cool at all. I mean, look, we already gave him a lot of today because he should know better. But more importantly, what he needs to know is, was he just pouring his heart out for someone who really doesn't care? But I really do care. I wasn't trying to get money out of him. Like, I really like Travis. Like, I just, I feel some type of way about myself. 
How do we know you're telling the truth? I can't do this for the rest of my life. It's up. It's not really, I can't, but I do have feelings for him. Why are you doing this? You're, you're... It's stupid, like... Keep talking, you guys stay. Veronica? I just can't watch her do that. I can't watch her do that. Do what? Lie? She just said I up, I up. I cannot watch her sit here uh, just saying I up, I up. We're going to hopefully get you her. You know what you did. Right. You're hurting people. And you keep doing it. And you're not. You're just saying I up. I'm going to change. No, you're not. Do what? I, I can't pretend like I'm somebody. Why are you pretending? Because I'm not happy. Like, myself that boat like i feel good i feel i like the attention like are you doing it for the attention yeah i mean i want someone i want a real person to want the real me it's hard it makes me feel like i'm just high you know like and i know it's not cool like i said i have a conscience you know what i'm saying it's a point where you have to stop and I'm at that point, I don't want to do it no more. Are you really, really, you don't want to do I'm this done. anymore? I'm You're done. done. This is the last person? I'm not going to do this Over anymore. Over how many guys it has been, and you're really done. This is it. No more it's catfishing. you guys. No more I'm telling them of it. who you think you want to be. I mean, your sister's very upset. She, I know. She cares about you a lot. And Sorry. has heard you say you want to stop before and is worried that you're just not. It hurts me. I'm I don't want to see you being someone else that I you're not. I want to be myself. Where you're not acting like it. Be yourself. Be who you are. I would have accepted you if you were just honest all the way. Even if you would have just came clean about the fake profile. I still would have gave you a chance just because of our conversation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the people I hurt. I really I hope do, you like are. I said, I do have a conscience. And saying, saying you feel bad and saying you're sorry and saying you have a conscience are not the same thing as actually showing people that you feel bad. Well, I'm ready to show. I'm okay. ready to stop. Well, one way to show is to tell Travis who you really are and tell him the truth. My name is Brianna. I'm actually 28 years old. Are you on social media as yourself, Brianna? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not Tiana, AKA Bahama Breeze. Oh no, 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 it's my Tiana. But you see, what is your name? Brianna. But for your social media, you use the, do you I'll call yourself Tiana? Tea. Okay. So that's really not you still. It's nothing like, oh, you really you know. don't want to be yourself in, in any mm. way, shape, or form. No, not really. When did this all start? When did you start the fake profile? It's been a while. How old were you when you started? I'd say maybe 18, 19. It was a long time so ago. Almost 10 years. Yes. Will you just feel comfortable if I wait for you in the car? Yeah, sure. All right. See you guys. Okay. Thanks, Veronica. We'll we'll talk to you later.